My name is Jerry Covington. We own Covington Cycle City in Woodward, Oklahoma. And we've had our business open since uh, late 92 or early 93 and been going ever since then. And we started out selling Harleys and just customizing Harleys and doing one or two custom bikes. Now it's uh, about 95% all custom bikes. And uh, we're also doing production bikes, uh, little old school bikes, along with our full on customs. And uh, my wife, Kathleen, she runs the office, and my boys uh, work here, and I got uh, more crew than that. I got 18 total, and we do pretty much everything in-house that we can. I built bikes. The first bike I built was like in 71, my first chopper. I've been building choppers since the 70s. And, you know, back then it was you build them for yourself, you build them because you like them. There, it wasn't a big money deal or nothing. And... Uh, since we got into it now and we're doing them, you know, you can make some money at it so all the boys can do it and we can do what we love, you know, so it's it's a pretty cool deal. So that's that's kind of what I like about all of it. And we built from the first bikes up to, we just did a Discovery bike and Dave just won the chop off and, you know, that's pretty high up the ladder for us. Pee Wee and my other boys, each one of them's got their special talents and. Uh, Dave's real good at designing parts and designing bikes and, uh, uh, you know, all they've ever been around since they were kids is hot rods and motorcycles and they're kind of like me. If they don't have wheels, they don't know much about it. I'm extremely proud of uh, David's accomplishments on his bikes, but I'm just as much proud of the other boys for what they do because it took all of them to make it happen. Um, his older brother, me and him, actually were the main two guys doing everything for David did because his other brother's a few years older. And we did tons and tons of work together. It just didn't get the recognition that David's has. So his is just as important. And on David's bike that just won the chop off, his other brother, Dusty, did every bit of the body work on that bike to make it as smooth and look as good as it does too. So. It's a little bit from everybody on it. I think the biggest thing that I'm probably proud of about what we accomplished is we're all working together and we all like the same thing. And it's like, if my boys wasn't working with me, how often would you see them? But we work together every day. And the other part I like is each one of them has a different job so they don't conflict with each other and it makes them have to work together. So it's a pretty cool deal. It's not important to me to be the best motorcycle builder. I just always want to be right behind the best striving because if you ever get to where you think you're the best, you're no longer that good. I've always looked up to Arlen Ness because he's a true motorcycle lover. He's he's not just in it strictly for the business. And uh, to me, he's he is custom motorcycle. And I've got other a lot of other people out there that I think builds great bikes. Uh, Eddie Trot has always done some nice looking choppers and uh, Paul Yaffe, you know, not choppers, but uh, he has done choppers, but he's built some really cool looking low and long bikes too. He's, and he's real into detail. And that's been some of my favorites. I believe uh, our boys, David and Dusty and Pee Wee and Cameron, they're probably all gonna carry it on eventually because David's already, you know, he's already stepped up and getting recognized and uh, Dusty's going to do a, a chop off next year. So, uh, yeah, they're they're definitely going to carry it on. This year we're going to, well, we should finish around uh, 31 full on customs and about uh, 12 of the old school bikes. On our custom bikes, uh, what we have is once in a while they'll call you and tell you, you know, pretty much what they want. But the majority of the time they see some of our other stuff and they say, I want a bike like that, you know, something like that. But just go for it, do what you want to do and make it as nice as that one. And uh, it's pretty much on the majority of them, it's pretty open. Uh, and they pick, you know, like their base colors and stuff like that. And we give them selections on their wheels or engines and stuff. But 
but the majority of them, they just say, go for it, just build me a radical bike. Well, I think the what appeals to customers on our bikes is the extra details. Uh, there's no part of our bike any place, top, bottom, or anywhere that doesn't have detail work. And we do all stainless hard lines on our bikes. It, every There's never a weld showing that's not totally smooth. And uh, it's just the way they flow. They have no extra stuff that don't have a purpose. Everything's functional on them. And they're, they're not only to look at, they're very rideable. If you don't give 110%, it's not good enough. And if we don't do it well enough, then there's no reason for people to come to Oklahoma in the middle of nowhere to get our bikes. So everything we do, we try to step up a notch. If we do average work, there's no reason for people to be here. In uh, 2005, we're looking to go into uh, some of our production bikes and possibly even rolling assemblies for them. And uh, we're going to probably do about the same amount of full-on customs. Uh, we feel comfortable with how many of those we're doing. We like to have be able to do detail on them. And if you try to kick that up too far, you start losing losing your touch on on the detail. So what we're going to step up is our parts and maybe three of our production bikes like the old school. I think one of the things that sets us apart is uh, we build every bike like we're building it for ourselves, And a lot of people build them strictly, you know, for the money, but the money is kind of more secondary to us. You know, you got to have it to operate, but the motorcycle still comes first. And I think with me and David, we design most of what we do, and everybody in the shop has a part in it. Uh, and our whole deal's on team. It's There's no one person for any for any bike. It's all of us. And uh, I think that the thing that separates us apart is we love the motorcycles, uh, and that does come first. This is the biker build-off bike that we built for the series. And uh, Hugh King called me uh, last November and wanted to know if I want to be in the build-off. And, of course, I told him sure. And uh, we ended up being the first one up. And we were going to be in the first series, and we ended up being in this last series and we were first up in it and we uh, decided we were going to build a chopper and at the last minute we changed our mind because we had a new style of bike that we were getting ready to do and we just said let's use it so we built this extra low and extra long bike for it and we uh, actually built this in nine and a half days they uh, told me a week before they came we thought we had 30 days a week before they came they said we're going to be here 10 days and you got to ride it on the last day. So, so uh, you know, it was kind of good that they did that because I was worried about the 30 days and that didn't give me much time to worry about the 10. So it worked out pretty good. We had it pretty planned. And uh, we all here at the shop attacked the project and got it done. And uh, we got to go on the ride uh, from Cleveland to Niagara Falls to Elmira. Watkins Glen and then down to Gettysburg uh, which once we got down there and did the build off and stuff we ended up winning it which was a good thing which really isn't a big deal one way or the other but it's still kind of nice to win but we went against some really good guys and had a lot of fun the whole ride was a lot of fun and the bike we built it with a Patrick 113 in it and six speed 300 tire and we went ahead and put nitrous on it and, and some suspension so we could drop it on the move and hit it. And uh, we didn't know how it was going to do because the 300 was brand new and stuff. But once we got there and unloaded and got to take off with it, the more I rode, the better it was, the better I liked it. The bike didn't give us any trouble and uh, it was just fun and fast. And we got to take it around Watkins Glen and run up to about 130 mile an hour and stuff. And, and it was just a awesome ride. We did the drop seat. The drop seat's a, a fairly new deal on ours. And it sets you down in it, so since we dropped the seat two inches, we dropped the neck two inches. And then we stretched the backbone seven inches on it, gave it a lot of rake. And uh, we stretched it also two inches under the seat 